It was like that nigga rain bombing or some shit. And then it's like when I'm on all the all the PSA. Pray for Kodak Black, y'all. He down bad right now. <laughs> Tough Love fam, welcome back to another episode of Tough Love, Truth Hurts. I'm your host, Drew, and today I got a bit of a sensitive topic for us to talk about. We're going to be talking about Kodak Black and his recent battle with drug addiction. Now, a lot of y'all been seeing these videos of Kodak going viral with what appears to be him looking like he going out sad. He looking real fiend out. It's a bad look. I know a lot of y'all want me to address the elephant in the room. And that's Kodak Black doing his collaboration with 6 ix 9 I'm going to be totally honest with y'all. That's like at the back of my mind right now. To me, that's not important. What's more important is the well-being of Kodak Black as a person and as a black man. The musician and entertainment stuff, that's kind of at the back burner right now for me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we sitting here watching the demise of another young artist. We don't want to see him go down the path of so many other rappers, young rappers at that, that have died from drug addiction, overdoses, uh, drugs being laced with all kinds of stuff. We got Big Scar, Lil Peep, Mac Miller, DMX, Pimp C, Juice World. Shit, hopefully Kodak Black ain't putting himself on the list next. You know what I'm saying? But well, what he got going on right now, it's not hard to imagine that he might end up being the next rapper that's on that list. But what I will say about the 6 9 collaboration is I think that it ties directly back into his drug addiction and showing just how down bad Kodak is. A couple years ago, I would have never pictured Kodak Black doing a collaboration with 6 9 after he read it. I just couldn't see it. You feel me? But we all know that drug addiction make you do some crazy things. We all know people that... We used to see them back in the day, and they was on top of their game. You feel me? On top of the world, like pillars in the community. Then they get on drugs. They start stealing. They stop caring about their parents. You know, to stop caring about the appearance thing is a major thing for Kodak right now. Because like I said, yo, I feel like he just don't look himself. He look like he's sick. But without further ado, man, we're going to get right into some of these clips so that way y'all can see what I'm talking about. So we're going to start off with this first one, yo. Now, some of y'all probably already seen this clip, but I think it's important just to see it again so that way we can see the progression of how bad it's getting for him. I see. I ain't cool then. What you said? You should stick out. Anyhow, I'm being filmed. I don't rush to the master bedroom. Don't do nothing. that. There's a lot of funny shit in a lot of houses and shit. I don't never want you to come. I swear to God. I just see you on the floor. Give me a hoodie. Give me a hoodie and a blanket. Like, pay attention to his movements and the way he can't really keep his thoughts all together. You feel what I'm trying to say? And it also looked like he talking to the air. I mean, I know it's somebody there that's recording him, which is a whole nother topic. Like, if those is your friends, why is they cutting the camera on you? when they know that you're not in your right state of mind. It just don't make no sense. And if you wanted to vent, you should have been able to vent to your friends without them recording you do it. Somebody got to be the adult in the room and just let Kodak know, like, look, bro, this is not the time. But I feel like he's surrounded by a bunch of yes men. And that's what tend to happen to these young black men who come into money and they're not ready for it. You feel me? You ever hear the saying that, you know, Money just magnifies who you truly are. You get what I'm trying to say? I feel like he always been dealing with drugs and been around people that do drugs and sell drugs. So we already know his situation and what he coming from and all the demons that he battling. And with that being said, let's get into the next clip. It was like that nigga rain bombing or some shit. And then it's like when I'm on all the... All the Yo, look at how Kodak look. I'm bringing it back, y'all. Look at this first scene. Like, look at his eyes, yo. Also, look at his facial structure. Look at his cheekbones, how they all sunk in, and he looking all skinny and sick and ashy. 
Like, what's going on with the bro? It was like that nigga rain bombing on some shit. And then it's like, when I'm on all the, all the minutes to society shit or whatever happens, you know? It's like, y'all want me to change, you like me to go. Yo, Yak look like a straight zombie. Yak look like a straight fucking zombie, dog. Am I bugging? Y'all let me know if I'm bugging. Yo, Yak look like a fucking zombie. Whatever happens, you know? It's like... Y'all want me to change, you like me to good decisions, make me the smart shit, and do all that shit. That's what it is. Like, yo, no funny shit. Y'all ever seen Tales from the Crypt? Remember the Crypt Keeper? Tell me Yak not looking like that right now, yo. Please. We're going to do a before and after picture of Kodak Black at some point in this video. But, bruh, come on, Yak. Look at him. I already won, bruh. And I'm not jumping on here to ask y'all what y'all think about me or my brain and my life because I don't even eat on here. And you like, bruh. I'm okay, I'm good. Even if I'm not okay, I'm alright. Yeah, let me be the first one to tell you if ain't nobody else do it. You are not okay. You are not okay, my boy. You're not. Like, you gotta stop lying to yourself, bro. You're not okay. And at the end of the day, the first step is acknowledging that you got a problem, bro. You gotta acknowledge that you got a problem, Yak. Like, this ain't normal. When you look in the mirror, bro, I know you're not seeing yourself. You can't be happy with what you're seeing, dog. You know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe it's not drugs, Jack. Maybe you sick or something like that. And if that's the case, bro, I'm praying for you. I mean, I'm praying for you either way. I want the best for you. You feel me? Brother to brother, I want the best for you, bro. But barring that you sick or got some type of condition or something like that, bro, this got to be drugs. This got to be drugs, bro. And you got to get a grip. Yak, you got to snap out of it, bro. You got to think about who you doing it for. You got kids. You got you got fans that's looking up to you. You got people you got to take care of. You got your mother. You feel me? Speaking of which, speaking of your mom, it's a clip that I got, y'all, that I really want to dive into. And it's a clip of Kodak Black being arrested and his mom showing up on the scene. And uh, I just want y'all to take a look at this because I feel like it's a powerful. Uh, I feel like it's a powerful clip. you see what i'm saying yo and that's another thing bro that's another reason why i feel like the drugs got him because as a man you know as a man seeing your mother cry like that for you that should shake you to the core you feel me that right there should touch your soul seeing your mom show up on the scene of a crime that you done committed. You know, I believe actually in this clip, he, he was arrested for drugs, for having fentanyl or methamphetamine, oxycotton pills. You feel what I'm trying to say? The first thing his mom say when she arrive is, why are you doing this to me? Think about how many times his mom done been through this with him already. You feel me? He done made it out of the streets and still taking his mother through pain and anguish and he's a millionaire that just go to show y'all kids especially i hope y'all paying attention that money ain't everything money ain't everything and i feel like only a serious drug addiction can have you not keeping your word to your mother when you don't promise her time and time and time and time again that you was gonna change your ways and stop making her cry she said in the clip, you said you're going to stop making mommy cry. Think about how deep that is, yo. 
he can't keep his word because that addiction got him. He can't keep his word because that addiction got him. You feel me? It's sad to say, but I mean, it is what it is. Now, before I get out of here, man, I just want to say this, Kodak. Like, bro, you got to stop playing with fire because we all know how this can end up. I just listed a bunch of rappers earlier in the video who have all died from drug addiction. Now, you got to remember, bro, you buying these drugs and these days, these drugs, not pure drugs. People out here popping perks and zannies and they lace with fentanyl and all kinds of other things that are killing people at a rapid rate. In this last clip, I think this is a precursor of what you got to look forward to if you don't get your shit together yet. That's Kodak Black on a gurney going through a hospital. We're going to see it again. That's Kodak. That's Kodak on that stretcher right there being pushed through the hospital. Come on, big dog. This You ain't make it out the streets just to crash out and lose your life and lose a battle to drug addiction. You much better than that. Yak, I need you to find it inside of yourself to make better decisions out here and go get the help that you need. If you don't want to do it for yourself, do it for your mother. Do it for your kids. Do it for all these little kids out here that look up to you and think that you're a role model. It is what it is, man. Peace.